Here you can see our basic setup. We have a monitor which projects experimental stimuli onto this reflective surface viewed by the subject. And while they're viewing the, the experiment, they can manipulate a cursor by interacting with this haptic robot. Now let's place the camera over the shoulder of the participant and get their perspective. When you are ready, please begin. Once the experiment loads, the subject is presented with the following screen. The participant can control the red cursor on the display by manipulating the haptic robot beneath the mirror. To initiate a trial, the cursor needs to start in the home base square. Once the proper X, Y, and Z starting coordinates are satisfied, a white target appears. The subject instructions are as follows. Please reach the target as quickly and accurately as possible. Once you leave the home base, the robot will produce a force that pushes your hand in the direction of an eventual target jump. The direction of the force and the jump are always the same, and the strength of the force is constant over the course of the experiment. This is what a typical trial looks like. If the subject takes too long reaching the target, he will see a timeout error. Initially, subjects try to stabilize against the force impulse, and their resistance produces curved trajectories. Later, when subjects learn to utilize the force as a cue, they start to go with the flow of the force to reach the target. This leads to nearly linear trajectories. Mm -hmm.